Fellas, AC here, welcome to another review. Now, a few days ago, I was just browsing and Fragrantica, and I kept looking at one fragrance, thinking to myself, this is, it's suggesting that something like Diorum Intense, but I've reviewed both those fragrances, and I didn't find too much of a similarity, right? And the fragrance that I was browsing was this, Givenchy Gentleman, Reserve Privé, because I was looking at the other Givenchy fragrances and I wanted to review some of them. And I, this one, you know, in Fragrantica, when you go there, it says, this fragrance reminds me of yada, yada, yada. And said, it reminded, most people have voted that it reminded them of Dior Om Intense 2011 and Dior Om Intense 2020. And I thought to myself, well, I, I've reviewed Dior Om Intense, Dior Intense 2020, Reserve Privé. I didn't remember it reminding me of Dior Homme Intense. So I thought, okay, I'll do a comparison video just to help people out. And it would be an interesting topic to discuss and find out what you thought. So I've got dry downs there. And let's start with Reserve Privé. So Reserve Privé, right? I reviewed it in winter, I think. I didn't get the best out of Reserve Privé. So this is autumn. And let's... The, the juice color is like orange, orange juice. And the moment I spray it, it smells like a semi gumant boozy, nutty, warm iris scent. semi gumant It smells like something which is edible. And the reason it smells like that is because of how bergamot, this is a lot of beautiful, soft and lovely bergamot combined with iris and hazelnut so that hazelnut is like a toasted hazelnut is combining with some sour sort of ambery note yeah so woody amber kind of note which makes sense because this one is basically Jumoshi gentleman parfum and here this uses tolu balsam tolu balsam sour tolu balsam so there's this sour Gumand, ambery, boozy smell. This is very boozy. It's whiskey. Whiskey-like smell. It is very nice. It smells very sexy. But it doesn't remind me of Diorum Intense at all. No. If at all, it reminds me of this. Givenchy Gentleman Parfum, which I've reviewed as well. This is very nice. Very underrated scent. Um, yeah, it doesn't remind me of Dear Arm Intense. Now, Dear Arm Intense, Dear Arm Intense, what can I say? I've got the dry down, so I'll come to the dry down a little later. So, Dear Arm Intense, right? I smelled Dear Arm Intense way back in 2011, okay, when it came out. This is 2011 version. It's golden amber in color, the juice, not orange. It doesn't make any difference what color the juices are, but just say, and wow. Wow, it's an unbeatable fragrance, you know, it's mostly lavender and iris. That iris is exactly like the iris of the Arom, which is basically a lady's handbag. It's very soft, supple leather with cosmetic smell, lipsticky smell. And it's very, it's really, really nice. And that iris is combined with a very juicy pear. And something very warm and beautiful like Amberit. Amberit has this feel of human skin, the warmth, the suppleness, the softness of human skin, like holding a girlfriend or your wife's hand. It's that kind of feeling, the warmth. And it's very dry rather than boozy. It's compared to um, Reserve Privé, this is very dry. It's got vetiver as well and woody cedar. And it's about two times as strong as Reserve Privé. And two times more glamorous. This is a this is glamorous. This is really confident and glamorous scent. So that's the opening, yeah? This is boozy, nutty, gumandi iris with a sour amber. This is slightly gumandi, but more lipsticky iris with very juicy pear fruitiness and woody um, sort of dryness to it. 
Okay, and this is absolutely twice as more glamorous and more sexy than Reserve Privé. Now the dry down. Dry down is just that Dior on dry down. This magical, beautiful smell, which just completely, you know, beats absolutely everything you have in your collection. The smell of Dior Homme Intense, the dry down, with a little chocolatey cacao smell. Wow, the dry down is so strong, and this dry down is from yesterday's, I think, maybe even the day before yesterday. Reserve Privé. It's more closer to Givenchy um, Gentleman Parfum. It has that Tolu Balsam, ambery smell, woody smell, a little bit of hint of that sort of walnut, not walnut, sorry, hazelnut smell with a, a hint of woodiness and that iris, sour iris. It doesn't smell like um, lipsticky vibe or makeup smell. <clears throat> Excuse me. So neither in dry down nor in the opening are they similar. Maybe a little hint of similarity, but there is hardly any similarity between these two scents. So from a scent perspective, there is maybe 20% similarity. Maybe the, the iris is somehow creating a little bit of um, uh, an impression in people's minds that they may be similar. Two minors, 20% if that, if that, nature. So Reserve Privé is basically a very um, sort of a private kind of a scent. It doesn't have the kind of projection that Euro Intense has, neither 2020 nor this one. It doesn't have the kind of exuberance and um, self-confidence that the Euro Intense has. Reserve Privé is more about one-to-one -one interaction. You went with your girlfriend at work or whatever. It's not, it's not that kind of outgoing. It doesn't have that kind of charisma. It lacks the kind of charisma, but it's very intimate, warm, sincere, and very comfortable in its own skin. That's the kind of smell. It's confident, but it's not boisterous. Durham Intense, on the other hand, is very charismatic. It's very outgoing, very confident, and very comfortable in a crowded place with many people. It's not intimate. It's boisterous. It has this leather tone as well, sour leather. It is one, it's one hell of a fragrance and it is one of those fragrances that you wear and you feel one notch up and ready for anything. That's the kind of smell it is. Um, in terms of versatility, Dior Homme Intense can be worn anywhere. Watch, um, sorry, whether it's to party, clubbing, dates, um, you know, any occasion you can think of as long as it's uh, sort of uh, warm and cold in between weather. Yeah, it's not very cold or it's not very hot. Uh, Reserve Privé, very boozy, so it suits cold weather, evening time. You couldn't, you could possibly wear this to work as well. I mean, I wouldn't have any reservations wearing Reserve Privé to work. Now, compliment factor. Obviously, people will compliment you on both the scents, but you'll get more compliments wearing Dior Homme Intense because of how wonderful the scent is. As I said at the start, Dior Homme Intense is two notches above Dior Homme, um, uh, sorry, Reserve Privé. So the quality of the scent, how it smells, the composition, the attitude of the scent, it's going to get you twice as many compliments and people will smell you more. It projects more, it just is in a different league, you know. Yeah, price point, I mean, Reserve Privé, you can get it for about 65 to 70 pounds for 100 ml. Uh, Dior Intense is probably going to be between 90 and 110. So there's a little bit of a difference, but not a huge difference. There is no comparison between these two scents. They're different natured. Um, if you were to compare it, excuse me, uh, Dior Homme Intense would beat Reserve Privé hands down in every category. In every category, there's no comparison. But if you want to look for a, a fragrance that just screams out sort of um, loyalty, um, sort of um, reserved, quiet confidence, loyalty, those sort of things, then Reserve Privé is your scent. If you want a fragrance which is a, basically a playboy and very confident and it's, it's just very outgoing and a player, it's a scent of a player, then the Aroma Intense, if you're in the dating scene 
Absolutely. If you're in a committed relationship, both will work, but that's a player set. That will get you unsolicited compliment and it has been a long-standing favorite with many, many people, including myself. So yeah, there's no comparison. Not, neither in smell, nor in attitude, not in any other sphere. Yeah, maybe 20% because of that iris note. And that's what I, that's what I thought. Maybe you'll find this video enjoyable. And if you disagree, let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.